Hey there, world. This is your favorite faggot. It's your second edition of the Doof. I like this. The Doof. Cause it's dope like that. It's heck of a pimp. Um, yeah. Um, I had a busy day today. That's why your Doof today is coming very, very late in the California hours of the night time, which for some of you is early morning in the East Coast or whatever. So, yeah. Today I had a busy day, helping out, hanging out with my buddies, and uh, doing what usual Saturday things. So, and I went shopping, and I got myself a kilt. That's what I'm wearing right now, ain't it, Tempt? Feels so fucking amazing. I could wear this at Pride. Speaking of Pride, um, I help volunteer fundraise for uh, Modesto, California. Modesto, California's. Uh, Pride Festival, which we have every year, we've had for like a past couple years. Uh, this place is, it has very city quality, so our Pride Festival is, it's a small Pride Festival compared to um, San Francisco or LA or any of those big, big cities. Our Pride Festival is pretty small, low toned, very cool, breezy, chill, you know. But it's still a festival, so it's still a party. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um what was I gonna talk about today? Oh yeah. Uh I've had I've I've gotten a lot of positive uh vibes and feedback from all you guys, so thank you very, very much. I hope this starts out to be a beautiful vlogmanship. <laughs> So yeah, um, some of you asked for my, uh, political views, Ugh. and, uh, I have a few, um, uh, note to everybody watching, my views do not view, do not, uh, get hit, bump into the views of everyone else in this country, or everyone else in America, so... I don't really prefer I'm not a good representative of the rest of my country, but hey, maybe I am. So, um, yeah, um, I don't know. I think both sides, both political parties we have are full of shit, so I don't trust either one of them. Um, yeah, that's, that's my political views. Um, I, there are a few pinpoint politicians, one or two, that I may, that I do like, but I won't mention them on camera, because, I don't know, it's more personal. Me and politics are very personal, because, uh, being gay and having so many limitations with what you can do legally, or at least, what, there are less, I mean, knowing that I've had limitations before, and in our cultural history, like, hell, we used to get arrested and shit back in the day, so, back in the 60s, I think, so, you look that up, look up your gay history, otherwise you're gonna hate talking to me, so, yeah, <sighs> so, yeah, uh, I don't know, I think both sides are full of shit, and, uh, so, yeah, uh, Hmm, what else am I talking about? Oh, speaking of politics and politics getting personal with me, I've actually had a protest that I created all by myself, and it had to do with the blood drive. Now, for those of you who don't know or don't live in my country, uh, there is this qualification that uh, has to do with um, your blood. And, uh, if you've ever had homosexual intercourse, uh, even if it's just once, even if it's just one night, one moment, uh, then your blood is terminated and you can't donate blood. However, this doesn't apply to the females, you know? It's only for the male, uh, half of the population, so... So, yeah, it's something that really hurt me when I first realized this because I was going in just during the blood drive and innocent little kid uh, 
just, hey, I want to save someone's life. I want to donate blood. I want a free t-shirt and cookies, damn it, like everybody else. But, um, I did all the paperwork, and they turned me down and said, yeah, you said yes on this question. I said, yeah, so, that's fine. So, sorry, you can't donate blood. You can get a T-shirt anyway, and I said, "No, it's okay. It's all good. I don't, I don't care. I don't care." So, so that's when I left. Uh, after that moment, I sort of had this negative vibe with myself. I sort of had this negative feeling, a negative feeling that I hope I can destroy in other people. Because I know they're going to have this feeling. They're going to feel like I did. They're going to feel like their blood is contaminated. Like, really, that that thing, that that moment I had with that one person, that beautiful moment, it's, it, it, it poisoned my own blood? What? No way. And it's, it's, it hits you. It really does. See, most people don't notice this, but those laws that you make, those banning marriage laws, those amendments to the Constitution separating, keeping marriage one way, or those stupid regulations, those stupid silly laws, they actually affect me. They actually affect us, personally. So, what do people do when they get hurt, get their feelings hurt? While, of course, they whip out the signs and the Sharpie markers, and they make signs and protest. So, come on, you gotta see this. I'm hella proud of this. Oh, check this out. Uh, yeah. Alright, you got a heck of signs here. I'll just read to you, um, what I, what I wrote on these beautiful signs. Um, blood type O negative but it's too gay to save someone's life. Don't deny me the gift of giving, and don't risk another life. That's what I wrote on this little piece of paper. And, uh, yeah, that's what I... That's all I stood in... This year, recently, I stood in front of, uh, where they were doing the blood drive, and I just sat there with this sign. Peacefully, and, hell, I was even playing Born This Way on my radio, so, um, that's how peaceful I was, so kiss it. Um, no re I, I got a lot of positive reaction, which is saying a lot from the decade and the age that I'm coming from now. I remember back when, when I was in junior high, when this shit was so taboo, it was like, ugh. It was just, ugh. Disgusting, you know? It was, it's still sort of like that way, but it's not as bad right now. And... I think, you know, it's a great time for me to push forward, and that's what I'm doing. I'm pushing forward. And, uh, yeah. It's a nice little addition to my dope entry. Um, yeah, and... And some of you are wondering, what, where is this guy coming from? Why is he so crazy about politics and rights and gays and shit like that? Well, because, um, guess what, world? I was raised by two moms. Yep, that's right. My parents are currently married lesbians. And, uh, I don't know. The marriage laws really do affect me personally, also, because you know how many marriages we had to go through? And how many... I, mean, I, li I live in California, you know? If you're not familiar with the California laws, they go back and forth. Okay, it's legal now. Okay, it's not. Ha ha. And it gets fucking annoying. Really, really annoying. So... So, yeah, it's just... They go back and forth with it, so I, me, my, my parents and I have, like, we've, <laughs> we've been through at least five weddings. <laughs> because they keep legalizing, keep illegalizing it, legalizing it, illegalizing it, and it's just, like, crazy. So, pfft.
So yeah, this is why I'm driven to do what I do, or more or less, I guess. I mean, true change only starts with one voice, doesn't it? Or at least that's what I heard. So, I might as well start voicing it up, and maybe people will join me. So, yeah. Well, today has been a very good dope entry. Hope you guys enjoyed it so far. And, uh, keep enjoying my dope. Because my dope is dope, yo. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm.